Hello everybody, Mike here at Game from Scratch, and what a news-filled day we've had today. First off, we hear about Microsoft buying GitHub, and then Armory 3D binaries are finally available for download, and then behind the scenes, all of this going on, Apple is having their annual developer conference, the WWDC, or Worldwide Developer Conference, and, well... I'd say not a whole lot came out of it, to be honest. There's a new version of their watch OS coming. You can now use it like a walkie-talkie. That sounds kind of fun. Uh, new betas of Mac OS coming, uh, Mojave, uh, new version of iOS coming. So, you know, if you're an Apple developer, there's a bunch of new betas you can play with. But attached to all of that, they also did what, uh, for game developers, of which I think many of you are, what I would call a dick move. Uh, basically, they just killed off OpenGL. Now, they didn't kill it off. That's that's too hard of a word. They basically killed off future support for it. They've deprecated support for it. So, from iOS 12 on um, and uh, Mac OS 10.4, I think it'll be, uh, it is now a deprecated uh SDK. So that means that going forward, there will be no further developments, no further support, etc. Basically, OpenGL support is going to freeze at the state it is now. And for the road forward, you have to use Metal. Now, what's Metal? Well, that's again, kind of another Apple dick move. Now, at the time, it made a whole lot of sense. Apple is a low-level rendering API. It is very much similar to... Um, Vulkan, and uh, there were other th services like Vulkan. DirectX 12 also has a low-level API, and Apple went ahead and rolled their own. So what it allows you to do is get closer to the <coughs> metal, and that's why it is called this. Basically, it is a very low-level graphics API, um, and you know you can get much better hardware performance out of it. Uh, the problem is it is proprietary to Mac devices, so or Apple devices. So if you have a new Mac, or you have a new iPhone or iOS device, then great. Metal works great for you and you can get some additional performance out of it. If you want to support code on another platform, well, Apple doesn't give a damn. You're not in their walled garden, so you can go to hell. And that is kind of the approach that they're taking here. What they've done is they've dumped the open cross-platform standard and they're going with their proprietary version only. So if you're developing an OpenGL-powered title, just know that the newer features that are coming soon aren't going to be available to you. If you're developing a Vulkan-powered title, well, that gets a little tricky because you can actually use, there is a service out there that allows you to um, transpile uh, Vulkan code to run on Metal. So it's not that huge of a deal. You'll have to use that little third party piece in the middle, but it, it's definitely not a great you know, friendly kind of a change. Now, on the top of uh, Metal, they've actually made some changes to it as well. Uh, 2.1 added performance features, including support for accelerated ray tracing. I think everyone's doing that since DX12 ray trace version was announced at GDC. Uh, indirect command buffers render scenes with enhanced lighting and shadow using accelerated ray tracing. And you head on over to their ray tracing page over here. So Metal is definitely being developed, but again, it is not cross-platform. So people that hate on Microsoft for their DirectX, well, Apple is doing the exact same thing with Metal. So now we can hate both of them equally. Um, so yeah, it's, it's kind of crappy, but at the same time, for a lot of you, it's not going to make a, a bit of difference. Basically, um, if you are using a game engine, it just made their life more difficult. And I imagine most of the major game engines already have a Metal backend. I know Unity does, and I know Unreal does. Uh, Godot does not. It is getting a uh, Vulkan API, which can then in a roundabout way be used to support Metal. Uh, but they would have to roll their own, as if you're creating your own game from scratch, and you want to support all the newest, fastest, and most current features, you are now going to have to have a Mac rendering base Frag, like so you can't write you know nice easy cross-platform OpenGL or Vulkan code and have it run everywhere because unfortunately well they're deprecating that so definitely not a good piece of news it's it's a piece of news and obviously why I reported on it but not a great one and you know what Apple hasn't hasn't been doing great things this week I, I'm already a little bummed at them for killing off the Steam um, client for iOS. That was, again, another dick move. Uh, so it just seems to be a trend going on there right now. Um, so hopefully we stop seeing this kind of stuff and Apple gets back to op supporting open standards. But it doesn't look like that's going to happen. Anyways, uh, interested in hearing what your thoughts of this are down below. Am I overreacting? Is this kind of 
just, I don't know. I just, I can't even see any way that this is good news. But maybe you can tell me something. Maybe you can cheer me up a bit on this one. Let me know in the comments down below. Uh, so that's it. Uh, Apple has announced that they are deprecating OpenGL going forward in their new versions of both iOS and macOS. And if you want the best support possible, you are going to need to use their native rendering platform, Metal. Or, again, a third-party game engine such as Unity or Unreal Engine. So if you're using one of those engines, meh, doesn't really affect you. It's just kind of a eh move. Let me know what you think. Comments down below. All right, talk to you all later. Goodbye.